Welcome to our MSCRM addons.com tutorial on how to configure and start attachment extractor for Dynamics 365 using our online service configuration. After the login to our website, navigate to products and choose attachment extractor. Next, click on the configure service button. For the first time, a window pops up where you can select the product you would like to set up. In this case, attachment extractor. In the so opened window, you first have to set up your CRM connection profile. To do so, simply click on the Connection Profile button. Here you can select your method of authentication to connect Attachment Extractor to your Dynamics 365 instance. You can choose between Server-to-Server -server Authentication, Office 365 or IFD Hosted. Please note that Server-to-Server -server should just be used if recommended by our support team. Then type in your CRM URL and your user credentials. In that case, your username and your password. Next, click on the Retrieve Organizations button. As soon as your organization appears, click on the Verify Connection and Save Profile button. The following message appears. It is important that you do not close this window or navigate away. It can take a few minutes to verify the connection, so have a little break and enjoy some coffee or tea. You are now back on the same window as before. We can now use the new connection to start setting up your service. Please enter a service name here but choose WISE because it cannot be changed anymore. The next drop down menu allows you to select the instance on which your attachment extractor should be installed. The instance with the highest bandwidth is automatically selected for you. Next you need to choose whether you want to use a CRM integrated SharePoint or a specific SharePoint to extract your documents to. If you want to use a specific SharePoint you must enter your SharePoint URL that includes the library. Entities without document management this option allows you to define actions against documents that are related to an entity where document management is not enabled in CRM. You can choose to store them to a dedicated library on SharePoint or to leave them in your system and not extract. Please enter your SharePoint credentials there. Using the next drop down menu allows you to decide what you would like to extract with Attachment Extractor. Please select all or only some of these options, like email attachments, note attachments. This section allows you to configure an email or notes subfolder, where your extracted emails or notes will be saved. You also have to specify if you want to copy your attachments to SharePoint or if you want to extract them completely. However, if you click on the Extract Replace Data in CRM button, you will receive a warning. Read the warning carefully. Once extracted files will be replaced with a .ul file, which points to the extracted file on SharePoint. This cannot be reverted. Then check the corresponding checkbox and select whether you want to copy or extract the files by clicking on the corresponding button. Then insert the minimum size a file should have in order to be extracted by Attachment Extractor here. The default value is 64 KB. You can also specify to extract only attachments older than a certain amount of time here. Next simply click on Save Service in order to proceed. Click on OK to continue. While the service is being set up you will see the following window. Please do not close this window or navigate away. As soon as the service configuration is completed, you will be informed about the next steps you can take. In this window, you can, for example, check your license status, start your service, service is not automatically started, and check your SharePoint locations. Click on OK to complete the online service configuration. That's all you have to do. As you can see here, we have finished setting up our service with just a few clicks. Here you have the possibility to add a new service, configure existing ones, view and install license, view service logs and versions information, start and stop your service and view progress and history, reset extraction, move or copy a service and delete it if you want. For more details, simply check the documentation in our blog. Have a look at our contact details and do not hesitate to contact us if you require any further information on our assistance. Please also have a look at our website, follow us on Facebook or Twitter and have a look at our YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention.